broke the top. We, we hit a way too hard. What's up, everybody? So I'm about to go out and show y'all something. See, I've been getting a lot of questions why I've been fishing, why I've been going to the beach, why haven't we been doing a lot? So I'm gonna show you and you're not gonna believe what I'm about to show you. I don't even think the news has done this thing justice because the complete bridge is busted. Three miles of it, there are two humongous sections missing of the three mile bridge. And look at this piece of plywood I just found. I found it on next door, Craig was throwing it away. But anyways, sun setting, we're gonna make a late afternoon run because the boat ramp's right here and we're gonna see what it looks like up close and personal. Real quick, have y'all seen the guy that saved the puppy from the alligator? Check this out. And his owner too, jumped in and pulled the gator to short. The puppy's owner wrenched the alligator's jaws open and the puppy escaped. That's nuts, but good job. It got extended. All that got demolished, but it got extended. It's super shallow here now. That's new. You fail to realize how big these boats are until you're like right here. So where I'm at right now used to be... Palafox Pier. Man. This is Palafox Pier. There used to be sailboats and boats all in here and there's nothing. Absolutely destroyed. Not even one boat. I mean, this used to be all the sailing, like clubs and stuff. So the reason, if you want a reason, so this seawall, that seawall behind us, it doesn't go to the sea floor. So a city can either spend a little bit of money and build a little bit of a barrier. It only goes a few feet into the water. Or for, I guess it's like an extra $2 million, they could have put that wall to the sea floor, which would have protected the swell and all the waves in here. So what happens when you go cheap. Same thing we're dealing with the bridge over here. Most bitter. You know, I mean, think of the damage and, and the, the, the loss. I mean, yep. to have a protected harbor for an extra couple mil, two mil. Brant told me a story about a captain when the hurricane was coming. He, he got in this, this, this exact same spot right here with like a $20 million yacht and went forwards and reverse all night to keep it in the center of this water to keep the boat from sinking. And he kept it from sinking. It's a great piece of captainship. Is that a word, captainship? No, that, that's a yakism. You know, I make up my own words and they, they tend like to them. stick. We do, we do like them. Yep. That's a big sailboat underneath there. Man, it's even went through the roof. Yeah, look at that. I, I had no idea. That, like, I mean, there was literally dozens of boats over there. I mean, they're gone. I mean, like they're... Yeah. So right over here is where the hole in the bridge is. And this is where they're building the other side. So we figured we'd cruise out here and see the hole. <laughs> because right now, physically, we can't get to the beach, which is right there. And we live right there. So we're in a predicament. City of Gulf Breeze is literally dying right now. So we're gonna Hashtag come see what the big deal is. Fix this. Hashtag Scott. It's an unguarded hole! Got it. Unguarded hole! Let's go up! The damage of this bridge is like serious. Look at this. That's expensive. How expensive do you think that is, Craig? Well, the bridge costs four million. And the delay of time, I don't know. Repairs, 40, 50 million. That's a lot. That's a lot. Plus the uh, Plus getting the that barge up. up, that's another 100 grand, 50 grand. Oh, way more than that. Whew, Not just, to mention the, the uh, cranes are sitting on the bottom. Yeah, there's, there's all kinds of junk on the bottom, but they got new equipment over here. So, and these over here look pretty new too. I don't know if you can see them. New cranes. You know it's kind of funny when they got brand new cranes because the others are over there stuck up against the beach. <laughs> the beach. They're on the bottom. They're on the bottom. Hey, there's actually a barge over here that is sunk nose beach. down. <laughs> it's buoying. Look, it's a crane sticking out of the water. Look how much water we got in the boat. <laughs> she is a 1969 old girl. 
good old lady. She's got a few leaks and she likes to get a little wet. These cranes are nice, new, and shiny, but I will tell you this. I do wonder if there's a barge at the bottom of that crane. <laughs> I just said that. But I, I, I'm filming here. <laughs> I'm filming, all right. It's the, it's the Jack Dude, show. That crane is shiny. Look how shiny this thing is. Check out this barge over here. Get all the tugboats lined up to pull these barges off of here. Well, Craig ran a strong. Is the prop broke? Nope. Yay! The prop's not broke. We didn't all realize right. it was so shallow. How did how did that big barge get all the way over there with this thing so shallow? Damn, Craig, almost broke the prop on us. Yeah, prop's good. At least you can hit that rock right yeah. there. Prop is good. At least you can hit the rock. That's a big ass rock, Craig. Oh, it is. Well, Craig, uh... rock paper scissors. Who's gonna walk? I mean, you got shoes on. Nah, <laughs> man. It's an afternoon adventure. That's gonna cut your feet, man. Do you think we'll drift back out? Yeah. Craig was going 30 and hit these rocks. I wanted to get you some good footage. Look at that thing. I know. Look at that. Look at that. It's amazing it made it that far with these rocks. Well, I believe yeah. the water was a little higher. Uh, it, was, it wasn't that much higher, Craig. It was only like 30 feet. Well, yeah. The water was way up there. That's why it's over there. So I was going to walk out to this one. Then I realized there's another bar just right there. Can you see it? It's stuck on the shoreline. Stroke a genius, Craig. He's got it tilled up now. We're good. Why didn't you do that 10 minutes ago? Boy, well, we got a lot shallower, a lot quicker. <laughs> At least you didn't break the prop. That we know of. Yeah, you lost a prop. You, you and props, Craig. This is what your second prop? No, you lost my first. They're $150 a piece. How many, how many blades we got left? One, we two. We're still good. We got three chunky ones. <laughs> Look how, look how much water we got in the boat. Hey, Craig, here's a sign. Let's head to deeper water. Our two hour tour turned into almost walking to downtown Pensacola, thumbing a ride home. We could have just moored to that buoy right there. Well, the barge made it, we could have made it. So, funny story number two is when we decided to come out here, I was like, Craig, did you bring ropes? And Craig was like, lecture me about not bringing ropes. We're just going for like a quick tour. It's like, dude, we need ropes. And so now we want to go to the ore house and looky, looky, no ropes. <laughs> Stop working. We're rolling, baby. Little sketchy vibrations, but we got it. <laughs> we broke the top. We, we hit a way too hard. It's, it's falling apart, Craig. So the parking lot is completely empty. But I'm wondering what this guy had going on. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know if that's like real money or what. That is fake money. It's been at the bottom for a while. You can see the USAA card. You got a driver's license. I don't know. It's been on this thing for a minute. It looks Big like. Point. People don't even want to take it. It looks so fake. <laughs> All right. Let's see the damage. Uh, not too bad. We're missing a chunk, Craig. And then we got some scratches. Not too bad. Hey, okay. All right, everybody. So that is it in a nutshell. It's crazy. You got to drive all the way from here to Milton across Garson Point, all the way through Gulf Breeze and back to the Pensacola Beach just to get there. So it's about an hour 45-ish drive from my house to the beach now that used to be a 15 to 20 minute ride. Perdido Key's not that far, but it got hit really hard from the hurricane. See, if you're a business owner in Gulf Breeze or you're somebody living in Gulf Breeze and you work downtown, can't go back and forth. You got to drive all the way around. If you uh, are just trying to go from Pensacola over to wherever in Gulf Breeze, not happening. They thought about doing a ferry service, but I think that's just logistically not possible. We're just trying to take it, play it by ear. Skanska, I think that's the name of the company. Uh, hashtag don't sue me, bro. But that, that company and the barges, they escaped. I covered it in my hurricane video. Check that video out and it'll explain it all. But 
yeah, that's what's going on. And the economy in Gulf Breeze is getting hit really hard. And there's a bunch of lawsuits going on right now, uh, especially if you're affected. <laughs> I got to be careful what I say, I guess, with all this stuff. But um, yeah, it's just crazy. And there's a lot of hearsay on when the bridge is going to be fixed. They're looking like maybe six months to a year. I'm going to say a year plus. So pretty much we won't have a bridge for a year. Isn't that crazy? So we're just going to have to play it by ear and just see what we can do here in the point. Or just, I don't know, go for trips. I don't know. And then we got the the V, the cough cough, that's keeping us from going anywhere. Can't get on planes, can't do any of that. So we're at a standstill. But we're going to keep chugging out videos and having fun. See you guys tomorrow or the next day or the next day. See you guys later.